Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to do a problem with Pythagorean Theorem, and we're going to be using coordinates. So I just want to remind you that is, and we're going to use these two points, 0, 0, and 3, 4, just so you could be a little bit more visual. So this is going to be 3, this is going to be 4, and this is going to be 5. So we're going to be finding the hypotenuse with the Pythagorean Theorem. So, and for if you have not, by chance, learned the Pythagorean Theorem, it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And then we're going to be using our coordinates. So, all right, let's just jump right into it. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm going to show you inside the function two different ways you can do it, just so you can think about it however however your however your logic is so we're going to test distance and we're not going to take any input we're going to ask for input so and of course if you want to do this a different way you can you can take the two sets of inputs but let's just start here so enter two coordinates coordinate points to find the distance boom 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 okay so all right we're gonna be our first point take an in input please Enter X and Y with a space. So now to remind you what happens there. So we need to we need to make a little bit of an adjustment there. So to remind you what happens when you take when you use input. It always comes as a string, reading a string of standard input. So let's just do this. So I give we're gonna give it that's gonna be it. So now when I call this, it's going to be a string. So to remind you, there is a variable. Make sure you can see this. Alright. Split. And uh, since it's a method, we got it. We have to make sure we use our parentheses. So then second, and then we're just gonna copy this. The copy is gonna be the exact same. So all right, let's bring this back over here so we can see it. All right, we want to make sure we stay consistent. So now. <laughs> Now we're going to find our a, and so, all right, we're going to take x. So we're going to reassign this just so we can see what it's going to do. X split. So now it's going to put those inside a variable. Now I'm going to show you one way to do this and another way. Whatever is easier for you to do to just get it done. So all right, a equals we're the first way we're going to do what should grasp so all right we're going to take we have two coordinates we have our x our first one which is going to be zero zero and then our second one which is going to be three four so let's just do that the same way do that so the first way is we're going to take so we need to sub, we need to take this and subtract this and this and subtract that so we'll have a distance of it's all right so we take our second because this is going to put this in a list so then y 
definitely didn't do that. Split y equals y dot split. So y, okay. So now there we go. So we could do this one of two ways. We could put this in a, an entire string and use evaluate or go in and change these to integers. I'll just show you. All right, the first way you will do integers. Let's do second. And since this is a list, we need to do our slicing. Close that. Then minus int first. Slice it. Close it. Now, this is just to give you perspective. I prefer this way, but if this is too challenging or you just don't get it, you can now put this in an evaluate. And if you have not seen evaluate, go watch that video and come back and watch this. But literally, because Python can understand this right here. This is what we're doing. Uh, what? Three minus zero. Oops, let's put this in evaluate. Do, 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 three minus zero. Close it out, close it out. Gets three. So that's what we're going to do right here. Second. One, because this is a string. Then we're going to add this. We're going to add a string of minus. And again, I don't like this way. I don't recommend it. But if you just don't get this, if you're changing stuff around, I just want to give you another. Uh, so we did second one, first one. There we go. But this is just to give you all kinds of choices because the one thing that I do like about programming is that actually let's do the return and then we'll print this so now now we have our A we have our B and now we need to do A squared B squared so we have to take the square root so alright let's watch this so we gotta make we gotta make sure we do get all print all our parentheses right. Follow our PEMDAS rules. So A and to raise to the power, if you've not seen that video, two stars in Python, A squared plus B squared. Now the reason why we have those two is because now we have to take the square root. And the way you take square root in Python still to the power so a, a square root is if it's a power of two it's uh, one over two or half so there we go so now let's call this distance let's, let's run this and see if I did everything right okay so I give it my first one is zero my second one is three four and lo and behold I forgot to wrap this in print so let's do that now let's recall it zero and three four lo and behold five I did everything right on the first run through so there we go. This is how we would do use the Pythagorean theorem, and there are two different ways. And I really forgot a space there. I needed to have a space there so it wasn't so choppy. And then I'll just show you what I did. So now it's right there, nice and neat. So zero, zero, and then three, four, and ta-da. And there we go. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button, and most important, that notification bell because we do have videos coming out every single day. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.